What's up guys over here in this video we're going to be hunting for the potential airdrop of benefits in the future from the cashmere that's a protocol for cross-chain swaps that recently went into a public test net and why that should be on our radars because first of all it's a finalist for binance's labs uh, mvb6 program so that's already some good credibility and on top of that it's built using layer zero technologies so not only we can be eligible for the benefits uh, from the cashmere itself, it can potentially have some effect on our late zero airdrop hunting. As usual, before we begin, a couple of disclaimers. Nothing in this video is financial advice. Always do your own research. Activities in this video do not guarantee that you will get any source of airdrop or benefits in the future. And lastly, all information in the video and in description, including links provided as is. So follow at your own risk. As usual, all links are going to be in description. Tasks that we're going to be doing are mainly social. You can actually find the majority of the links uh, on their main website. So what do we have now? We have two NFTs. Uh, one is free and one will have to pay the gas on Ethereum if you want to mint it. We have Crew3 aka ZLiquest. We have Guild XYZ and Layer 3 is not available yet but probably will be available soon. Starting with the Galaxy, I will already claim this one. This one's gonna be free because the gas is covered by Cashmere Labs. And what we need to do here, visit the website. Uh, join telegram join discord and verify yourself on discord obviously and follow their twitter on discord you can also get your roles if you want to this consists of uh, different chains uh, your roles as like designer developer translator and also your language preferences channels so that's for the nft on galaxy we have another nft on zora this one uh, you will need to pay gas and also you will have to pay a Zora fee so in total that's gonna be gas plus this amount of ETH I'm just gonna check how much is the gas now it's probably yeah it's very high now because as you can see MetaMask says network is busy there is no rush on this one because if we check we can see that uh, it will be available for minting for another 35 days. So you can just wait when the gas is low and then mint it and pay less for gas. Okay, moving on next we got Guild XYZ. And for some reason I cannot connect my wallet here. It just won't sign the message or it signs the message and nothing happens. But that's probably something uh, on the side of Guild XYZ technically. But we can check the tasks here as you can see it's just Again, getting the NFTs, uh, following on Twitter, connecting the wallet, and also have the this one where you can put the gold emoji in your Twitter username. So not much on Guild XYZ, and now we move to Zilli, and as you can see here, there are mostly social tasks again. Only the last task is actually on chain where you have to make uh, swaps so here we have a swap interface and here we have the dashboard with very nice faucets list where you can click and get yourself some testnet tokens if you don't have those yeah my girly ETH keeps failing so I'm just gonna try BSC testnet into a polygon yay we got it like they trying to swap the BSC initial to test USDC on the Uniswap and then swap in test USDC on BSC to test USDC on polygon so they basically need like a cross-chain token and then upon arrival, they're gonna swap test USDC to Matic on Polygon testnet. On the bright side though, uh, every error, every fail that you encounter, you can put that into feedback and provide meaningful feedback uh, to the team. So what I suggest do and play with it as much as possible. Uh, test different chains, test different pairs, test different tokens if they are present. And then what we need to do, we need to provide the feedback. You can send it from here, from the troubleshoot, or you can go on Discord and there is actually also a feedback, which is a link to the same form. And here you can provide all the details, your email, your wallet address, uh, your Discord, and send your feedback to the team. Now, in terms of the amount of transactions, I wouldn't go too ham on it because I don't think it matters too much 
at the current uh, iteration of the application. So just do enough testing to provide meaningful feedback. That's all I wanted to cover. I'm going to go do the activities. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it, consider subscribing and I'll see you soon.